reality shows are so ingrained into people's psyches that they just don't have to say anything. I'm a bit on the side. I'm a bit on the side. 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 BB bots. A bit on the side, yeah. <laughs> shows if so then smell my cheese uh, I've done that since I was about seven uh, okay uh, on behalf of everybody on bit on the side we would like to reward you for your loyalty and devotion over the series and in fact over the years if you're still watching I really hope you are um, and the only way I think that we can do this is by giving you a brand spanking new shiny exclusive just for you I'm in it a bit hard to be nice to everyone today <laughs> oh my God. it's because the villain has been exposed <laughs> no, it's not. I just like. Do, do, do people really think they'll all keep in touch? Honestly, do they? Like, because I, I can't. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well, I keep in touch with you, Marion. I keep Louis. in touch with you. Yeah, definitely. But I don't know. I don't want to pretend that. Yeah, yeah. Let's all keep in touch. Because I won't. I just won't. I'm a bit like. I'm a bit like Louis like that. I just. I won't. Carol, as always, telling it like it is. Okay, it's time to talk to a lady who knows just about as much about mind as she does about lycra, and that's a lot. It's the dream like dreamboat, dream weaving dreamer who's a real dream to be around. It's the dreamy Diane Newdale. <laughs> Every time one goes off. Um, okay, so let's talk about journeys. Yes. Um, how was the M6? Ah, it was okay today. Let's not talk about that kind of journey. <laughs> yeah. um, let's talk about housemates journeys. Mm -hmm. um, so let's talk about the long and winding big brother road of a journey. So yeah. as a psychotherapist, what kind of things are you looking for in the big brother journey? Well, for us in particular as watching, we need a starting point. We need trials and tribulations along the journey. Yeah. And the final destination, of course, is winning the big brother crown, but it's got to be deserved. Okay, so let's start with Abs then. Yes. Um, he enjoys a quiet life. Um, has that had a profound effect on his time in the house, do you think? He, he's, he's had such a journey. We all know his story. What's been brilliant about him is he's still doing it. This whole kind of clearing by handing over valued stuff from himself to other people in the house that he's valued by being in there. He might as well have done it with a smudge stick and a caftan while chanting because that's where he's at in his journey as a person. And we've all had a little bit of privy to that. And it's nice to see for a celebrity. Maybe he just wants to get rid of everything that's tarnished by everybody in there that he doesn't like. <laughs> there is that. Um, so let's move on to Mario, um, known for being a little bit of a love rat in his life outside of the Big Brother house. Do you think that's had effect on his behaviour inside the house? No, the situation's so different in this Big Brother house. He will, he's going to pop straight back to form and towie form at that. The second those doors open, he's going to be straight back to being lad. Uh, and what he's being paid for on another show. In this house, the whole of the situation's been different for him. And we've had chance to see that lovely, grounded, balanced Mario, which a lot, a lot of people are liking. So you think, do you think we've seen the real Mario? Yes, it's one. We've all got facets. We've all got different yeah. facets that we spin to the world, depending on what situation we're in. Okay, let's talk about the girls now. Let's start with <laughs> Vicky. Um, we've seen her wrestling her inner thoughts. So what does that say to you about her? Yeah, well, she has to talk it out because she's very auditory. So she has to, she, I call her vicious viker, a viper, Vicky, particularly once her subconscious mind's had, it, had the, the pre-conscious barrier lifted off. All this stuff leaps up and out once she's drunk. Um, and what she then has to do is kind of, kind of resemble and bring everything back and make sense of it by talking it out in front of the cameras to us. Um, there is venom there, you know, there's, there's a lot of bitterness which comes out when she is drunk. And it's what just about the next day, us. though, afterwards? Because she does always seem to try to repair what she she's does. done. She does. Her conflict resolution resolve is fantastic, and I can't falter on that at all. Um, okay, what about Cam?